hello, Dull Bedsit Blogger here, and um, when I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm a care worker, and um, I've been working with one particular young man for, for quite a long time. We've got a YouTube channel, just check out the picture just there. So, um, one of the little perks of being a personal assistant is sometimes you get to go and do exciting things. And um, we went to see the darkness and uh, we make little reviews and videos about the things that we do and he'd asked me to film a bit of the darkness because he's in a wheelchair so he's a bit lower down and wouldn't be able to get as good a view so I was, I was standing there videoing bits uh, so that we could use it in the review video and so he could see bits of it and keep it as his personal little memory keepsake which is all going well until I know I know that there's a lot of bands that don't like it when they get videoed and then it gets on YouTube but this is a moment for you guys with that what's what kind of camera is that again flip a flip camera one of those things that's destroying music get them up now point them at this man behind the drum set he's going to do something fucking outstanding for your ears and for the internet's eyes, this is your one moment. After that, I'm going to ask you politely to put it up your fucking ass. If you don't mind, sir, please. Because that red light's really fucking distracting for the people behind you as well. Okay? Alright? Now's your chance. Eddie Graham on the drum set! <laughs> yeah. I got told off by Justin Hawkins for filming. And um, I'd like to apologise for the light distracting anyone who's standing behind me um, I'm sorry about that I'm, I'm also you know Justin sorry uh, if the small red light on the front was distracting you I would have thought you know someone who's performed in massive stadiums and arenas across the world um, would be able to see past a small red light but I don't know you're probably very tired from being on tour and you might have stubbed your toe in the morning or you trod on a bit of Lego or something like that so I'm, I'm really 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 sorry to that you were distracted by that um, but I really do feel I need to have my say when it comes to the bit where you said that cameras like that and people uploading concerts to YouTube is destroying music. Um, my opinion... Please remember, opinion is not fact, it's ideas. There is no right or wrong when it comes to opinion. Is that it's not going to destroy music. One of the things that is destroying music is the music industry itself in the way it recycles and regurgitates and actually doesn't it, it it's scared to push out into doing anything new it's it's just regurgitating the same old same old same old uh, because it knows that's where the money is so ultimately i think money is one of the things that is destroying music at the moment uh and for you to, to lay that at my feet is a bit a bit unfair, to be honest. Um, I've I'm not a huge fan of the musical style of uh, the darkness, but you know I I've always kind of respected your ability to perform and your sense of humour. Um, I love the uh, the video you m made with uh, the darkness taking a crap on Edvard Munch's scream. It was a brilliant piece of uh, film and it had so many questions about art, uh, celebrity, you know, keeping things real and you know I really could sense your sense of humour and the, the, you know I do enjoy the fact that the darkness does seem to make fun of the kind of 
more pompous self-important side of of rock music but I do feel by you saying that those cameras are destroying music you've possibly lost a bit of your sense of humour I'm going to leave this uh, unmonetized and I'm going to leave it as a creative commons so if you want to Download this, remix it, do whatever you like to it. I don't mind. I'm just some idiot in a bedsit. Bye-bye.